Lamar has unfairly earned his stripes as the one who sends more people to prison than most any other state attorney in Florida. And the I really can't uh, understand it or defend it because I don't know what he's referring to. Coming across as a power-hungry control freak. What is your response to that? What would you say to the people? I'm not. I'm not a control freak. I'm just following the, uh, the statutes. I have the, the respect and... and uh, support of both the criminal defense attorneys and the prosecutors and law enforcement in this community. Um, in, down in Osceola as well, I have the police chiefs, uh, both from Kissimmee and St. Cloud, Lee Massey in Kissimmee and Pete Gauntlet in St. Cloud. Um, now I'm on the civil bench and I've gotten a lot of support from both the plaintiff's firms and the defense firms. Um, everybody seems to be happy with the job I've been doing in the civil side as well. So I, I enjoy the job. I have a, an excellent record to run on, and I think... When our jail was bursting at the seams, it's my duty to tell my lawyers, be tough, get a prison sentence. I to adjudicate you guilty of the charge of sentence of 22 years in the Department of Corrections with credit for 473 days time certificated. I'm going to designate you as a habitual felony offender. Uh, the state has proven that, so that will be, you will be designated. The ghost is inmate Michael Rigby. Uh, he apparently escaped from a Florida County Jail. Carlos Rosa has already escaped from the Osceola County Jail once, and investigators say he was going for round two. While keeping a close eye on him, something caught a corrections officer's attention. So what I did, it did not violate federal statutes, because otherwise my opponent and my detractor would have a field day. Recently, opponents continued their field day because... Have you ever had any kind of uh, discipline from the, from the J, uh, JQC? No. I've never, I don't think I've ever had anyone complain. Mm -hmm. I, I think if there's a complaint, I think they let you know, but I have never gotten a complaint. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't really know what those comments are referring to. If I knew a specific date and time and an incident that happened, I could perhaps remember it, but I don't. So if, if you have a, a, a beef about something, you know, that's what the appellate courts are for. Um, so I don't really... Look at this Asakola headline. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Michael Rigby will be punished. Well, if you have access to Westlaw or you have access to the Fifth uh, District Court of Appeals website, um, I think if you look at the number of reversals, uh, they're pretty high, and you compare them to other judges. Mm -hmm. Judge Palana, what, what explains uh, your number of reversals? Well, I, Be tough, get a prison sentence. I don't really know what those comments are referring to. If, well, if you have access to Westlaw or you have mm -hmm. access to the fifth uh, District Court of Appeals website. Um, I think if you look at the number of reversals, uh, they're pretty high. And you compare them to other judges. Mm -hmm. Judge Paladna to the other judge that's been down in Osceola County that's been on the bench for about the same amount of time. And uh, if you look at the reversals, there's about 33 or 30. The jail, the tipping point, though? I think the jail brought a lot of people in the, in the community to light to the problems and gave you say they, who are you referring to? The two inmates in the cell, inmate Rigby and Sanders. Okay. Sanders was his roommate. He did not escape.
Authorities say Rigby cellmate offered the guard $40,000 for a hacksaw to use to escape, but Caraballo didn't deliver. Was it easy to get out? It was easy to get out. There are many questions being asked, but this one many people would like an answer to. How is it that a man can escape and escape from a maximum security jail, scale two fences, and not be seen at all? When authorities here at the jail were asked how that could happen, they say it is under investigation. Live in Osceola County, Todd Wilson, West 2 News. Was it easy to get out? It was easy to get out. Total disgrace. Former corrections officer Milton Caraballo faces criminal charges for helping Rigby break free. Authorities say Rigby's cellmate offered the guard $40,000 for a hacksaw to use to escape, but Caraballo didn't deliver. 21 staffers for violating policies. Those violations made the escape possible. The report then they went to the cell or the uh, bunk in the cell, and unfortunately this, this bunk is not exact, but they were able to cut a piece of metal off of the bunk bed about this, about this long and about this wide. And according to inmate Sanders, they tied three sheets together. In the cell, there's actually a table and chair that are fixed to the wall. They wrapped the sheets around the table, tied it off to the uh, cut area, and while one of them pulled, the other one used that metal pry bar that they cut off the bunk, and they used it to rip like a can opener. Wow. Now that took, according to inmate Sanders, about eight or nine days to get Authorities say Rigby's cellmate offered the guard $40,000 for a hacksaw to use to escape, but Caraballo didn't deliver. We need answers. We want to ask some questions. Is it easy to escape from the county jail? Yeah, it was quite easy. How did you do it? Well, just wait until the, until the count was over and just jumped the fence. How did you do it? Well, just wait until the, until the count was over and just jumped the fence. They admitted razor wire around the perimeter of the jail was incorrectly installed, so it did not prevent inmates from leaving the jail. The state will now review procedures at the jail. A lot of razor wire around the jail may have been installed wrong, so that it actually makes it possible and easier to climb over to get out than to get in. I, I don't have a lot of confidence in the in the jail chief at this point. Seola County Jail Chief. I mean, I guess that's his prerogative. Um, I'm sure there are a number of people out there that have opinions on that, and I'll, I respect their opinion. You want to go to war, let's get it oh, This in. is crazy. If war bring peace, I'm with it then. I don't start Fat beef, I finish it. Preach with A-Cut, Green Lantern on the beat. We militant. She identified herself to me as KC, says she used to babysit Rose's three children. Deputies say she let him inside her house, not knowing he'd escaped, because he was wearing regular clothing, not prison clothing. This morning, a local inmate remains on the loose after a daring escape. Now police have locked up two of his family members who they say helped him get away. Todd Wilson at the Ose Osceola County Jail and taught his grandmother heading to court today. That's right. His grandmother's heading to court. His dad is in jail. And authorities say simply the, the reason for it is they simply helped him get away. She let him inside her house, not knowing he'd escaped because he was wearing regular clothing, not prison clothes. Her grandson clothes, food, and money. Then the jail, the tipping point, though. I think the jail brought a lot of people in the in the community to light to the problems and gave them a a, a crutch or a reason to call us. And then. They they need an overhaul in that jail. They're going to check every, every guard, every people work there. Aside from 21 guards and civilians directly blamed, Captain Stacy Gaines and Captain Mark Stroop volunteered to be demoted to lieutenant. Plus, the jail chief, Greg Futch, handed in his resignation. I think that uh, the chief felt that it was in the best interest of the county.
County where the county manager has just been fired. West 2's Gail Pascal Brown is live in Kissimmee. And Gail, it looks like the recent county manager Michael Freilinger no longer has a job. The three to two vote supports the termination of his contract effective immediately. He knew everything. When they told him to get down, he got down. I mean, it's not like he was trying to run or anything. So. Manager Michael Freilinger left immediately, but he does take with him a $300,000 severance package. Then the right thing. He did the right thing by uh, by uh, stepping down. But with each passing day, there are more calls for a full investigation. The Another scandal appears to be brewing for Governor Rick Scott. He's already been accused of trying to politicize the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. And now the former head of the state prison system is accusing Scott of covering up an inmate abuse scandal. We've had some challenges this week. I just want to hear who's the least crooked or who's the best of all the crooks, because they all are. I absolutely believe in accountability and transparency. With the leader of yet another high-profile agency accusing the governor of political meddling, it's suddenly become a lot more difficult for Scott to downplay the claims, and critics are demanding an even broader investigation. The attacks uh, against me are absolutely untrue, and they're ridiculous. And Scott continues to downplay the... Do you feel that you have your people? Because that person alleges that this was just a blanket situation, that they're just trying to put some numbers out there for us, the media. Do you feel like you have all... Well, you know, uh, we feel very comfortable. <laughs> no, look, every time I see this guy, it becomes more and more unbearable. Like, yeah. it, it's starting to physically repulse me. Like, he almost seems to be enjoying it. That's the thing that's getting under my skin. I feel like he's got this constant smirk, you know, underneath his, his delivery there, like, oh. I'm not lying, baby. To go to war, let's get it. Oh, this in. is crazy. If war brings peace, I'm with it. Unfair jail sentences are being leveled at a local state attorney race. This is the matchup between incumbent Orange Osceola State Attorney Lawson Lamar and his former employee, Casey Anthony Prosecutor Jeff Ashton. West 2 political reporter Greg Fox is here now to explain. And Greg, who is making this accusation? Ashton is the one who claims Lamar has unfairly earned his stripes as the one who sends more people to prison than most any other state attorney in Florida. And the reason? It sounds wimpy. Lamar makes no apology. Do you have any details about uh, reversal? Well, if you have access to Westlaw or you have access to the Fifth uh, District Court of Appeals website, mm -hmm. um, I think if you look at the number of reversals, uh, they're pretty high. And you compare them to other judges.
First of all, I need to speak with counsel about whether or not I should pray for this court to allow me to withdraw my plea as it was involuntarily entered. My attorney told me my grandmother would go to jail if I didn't enter a plea because the alternative was to go to trial. And since my grandmother was a co-defendant in this escape case, my attorney said they would lock my grandmother up because she was a witness and a flight risk. So I quickly pled to the bench to keep her from going to jail. My family is also in the process of retaining an investigator to do a diligent investigation into my mitigating circumstances that only my testimony presented at my last sentencing hearing. The only negative things the state had to say about me was that I had one prior and I allegedly planned the escape and also manipulated an officer into bringing in escape tools, but such was a bald-faced lie. My cellmate, Dave Sanders, attempted to escape from the Nassau County Detention Facility in 2008 by paying a man to bring him a sledgehammer, a hacksaw, a change of clothes, and a ladder. The man passed Dave the tools through a hole Dave had made in his window, and the man made holes in the, the fences of the jail. Dave's escape plot was foiled, and he was transferred to the Osceola County Jail in 2009, where he tore a large portion of his isolation cell off before it was discovered. He was charged with attempted escape and became my cellmate. The officer who provided the tool that, used, that was used to cut the toilet in my case said he never even knew I had anything to do with the escape case because he dealt with Dave and gave Dave the tool before I even came into the picture. The only reason Dave didn't leave was because he couldn't fit in the hole he had cut, but the state tried to put it all on me as an aggravator. My last attorney, Frank J. Bankowitz, told the judge that he didn't receive a chance to look into Dave Sanders as grounds for a continuance, but the judge said he had more than enough time and proceeded with the sentencing hearing. I would like to have the investigator present those facts and more. I also would like for a psychologist to give their opinion as to whether or not my anxiety disorder played a role in my capacity to appreciate the criminal nature of my conduct. Your Honor, I was also abused before I escaped, and I have copies of the grievances, sworn statements from my witnesses, and the x-rays of my damaged back, and the documents from the lawsuit I filed that was denied just weeks before I escaped. None of these facts were presented by individuals viewed by the court as competent to render an opinion that will be accepted as a fact, and I firmly believe that if, that if they had been, I wouldn't have received such a harsh sentence. So all I'm asking for is the opportunity to get my defense together. I just received notice of the reversal of my sentence, so I have all sorts of calls to make to try and see what type of funds can be gathered for legal fees. I have to somehow obtain my property from the prison I was being held at in the Panhandle because there is where my documents, such as the grievances, medical records, etc., are being held. I also have to figure out how I'm going to get copies of my psych records. I'm really hoping I'll be given an opportunity to post a bond and get into the free world where I can truly receive a fair opportunity to present my mitigation. I can create a website to solicit donations to my cause and use the funds to pay for my legal team. On top of all of this, my lowest permissible sentence is now less than 12 months in the Department of Corrections. And I was arrested and remained incarcerated on this charge since well over 60 months ago. And personally, I feel 60 months with credit for 60 months time served is a more than reasonable sentence in this case. I totally comprehend the negative impact an escape can have on a community that thrives off of tourism and strives to maintain a family-friendly image. Osceola County is also home to an abundance of elderly individuals who definitely will be better off not having to worry about a fugitive on the loose. I recently heard about two men who escaped from a prison in my birth state of New York, whereas one of them was shot and the other man was killed. In my case, a drug addict called the police, and I peacefully surrendered. But I always think about the major impact I could have had on the community if I would have been killed. It would have been bad because some people would have been sad. The officer would have had to have lived with it, and my loved ones would have mourned. The proper way to deal with the case is by telling it to the judge, not by escaping. Based on the aforementioned, I move this honorable court to enter any applicable order as it sees fit in pursuance of the purpose of this instrument. I hereby certify that this original document has been mailed by U.S. Mail to the Osceola County Courthouse. And I hereby certify that the above is true and correct as there is stated and was stated in good faith. I identified myself to the underside notary public on October 23rd, 2015. Michael J. Rick. Thank you.